So here we are at the last run from the previous event, and I was just kind of curious, what would it look like if I took my camera and I pointed it towards the suspension to see what all's happening in the rear as we go around the course? So the other thing I'm gonna do is we have this view, but I'm also gonna put in the bottom right here the view from the sunroof. That way we can see what inputs I'm giving to the car while simultaneously watching how the suspension reacts. The other thing is there's going to be a little bit of wind noise with this setup, but I actually kind of prefer this camera because I'm picking up some backfires from the exhaust and some of the exhaust notes. So let me know in the comments below what you think, if you prefer this microphone or the microphone I have in the cabin, which you can hear in the previous video. Here we go. <laughs> So here's some more footage at full speed, and then we're going to go back and kind of evaluate some areas in slow motion. So let's go back and break down some of the more interesting points of what I saw. So for this first part, let's go back and watch what's happening as I go into the slalom here. Now the first time I saw this, I just thought there was kind of a damp spot on the course for some reason. But let's go back and watch that in slow motion and see what's actually happening. So as I come into the slalom here, I'm turning to the right to get around that cone, but as I turn left, I lift the tire off the ground and I'm hitting the brakes at the same time. Since that tire doesn't have any weight on it, it locks up immediately, and then as soon as it lands, the part that comes in contact with the ground hits a point where it's heating up and it's liquefying the rubber, and you can actually see an area where it's phase changing and it's actually evaporating the rubber itself. So that was absolutely fascinating to me, that there were phase changes going through that quickly where I was liquefying and then smoking the tire just from landing just by hitting the brakes a little bit. So here's a couple more examples of that and some are actually a little bit more extreme than that previous example. So watching that one again, we can actually see as the tire is lifting up, it loses enough traction that it locks up and gets a liquefied spot and then it locks up, you can just see it on the camera here and then once it lands again, that's when it smokes and then develops another spot. And now that it's free to roll again, it begins to lay that wet spot down on the ground and it kind of evens out the temperature again. And just another example, pretty similar to the last one. So the other interesting thing about this camera view is you always hear people talk about sidewall flex and low profile tires, so on and so forth, but with this camera view you can actually see that happening. So let's draw a line here that signifies what the tire looks like on a straight. So now compare where the sidewall ends up compared to where it started. So there's actually quite a lot of flex of that tire from the sidewall. So here's another example with a right-hander where we can see that tire flexing. Mm -hmm. 
So the other interesting thing about this is you can see how the camber is changing as you corner. So here on the straight, the camber is a little bit negative and the contact patch is kind of localized to the inside. But as I turn, that contact patch is becoming flush with the ground or parallel, however you want to phrase that. But negative camber isn't all good because earlier we saw with those videos about how the tires were lifting off, it was a very small contact patch that was responsible for braking. So that one small area was what was heating up. It wasn't spread out across the tire surface. So as it lands, you kind of have an imbalance between hot areas and cold areas now. So kind of a tightrope balance you have to work with camber there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I thought it was pretty interesting to see what the tire was doing and all of the work it had to do even though it's a front wheel drive car and we're looking at the rear. But it was just interesting to see that when people talk about the tires becoming greasy, they actually mean that they're becoming greasy where we can see those liquefied spots. And we can also see what the sidewall flex is doing and how the camber affects the turning. So it was all pretty interesting, I think. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and I hope to catch you next time.